As if things now couldn't get any more ridiculous, we have another product complaint, and it has to do with Barilla Pasta. And this complaint comes from not just one person, but a couple. Who made a complaint that Barilla Pasta Italy's number one brand of pasta was not made in Italy and that it was made in uh, Iowa and New York US those two states There was a complaint uh, by Matthew Sinatra and Jessica Prosta that Barilla's Pasta branding used false, misleading, and deceptive making practices with their signature blue boxes containing the phrase Italy's number one brand of pasta and featuring the green, red, and white colors of the Italian flag. And federal judge Donner Rue actually denied Barilla's uh, request to dismiss the class action and that alleged false or deceptive advertising on the products. She ruled that the pro customers could be misled by the phrase Italy's number one brand of pasta and believes these products are made in Italy. Which is not the case. Uh, Italy's number one brand. Uh, it could being uh, popular in Italy compared to other brands uh, as there are other pasta brands out there and they could overtake uh, Kraft Heinz or there are like other uh, companies And Matthew Sina, Nacho, and Jessica Prosta made this uh, belief uh, that they uh, purchased uh, multiple boxes uh, of Barilla Spaghetti and Angel Hair Pasta, believed that the products were made in Italy from, I from Italian ingredients, and alleged that the company sought to take advantage of consumers who were willing to pay more for the authentic Italian pasta. They accused the company of uh, making the pasta look and sound authentically Italian when cutting costs and reaping the financial benefits of manufacturing the products in the United States of America. And they also claim that the Berlin has an unfair advantage over lawfully acting competitors at the expense of unwitting consumers and are seeking monetary consumption against their overpaid pasta. Well, for the company is a, a bread and pasta shop in Italy, but they changed the location and they uh, they work out of uh, Illinois state, USA. USA. And they're just uh, using their traditional Italian style. In respect to uh, Italy. No, they are not saying uh, this is made in Italy. This is an uh, Italian style. And this is not the first time we've... Uh, hmm? have a company that, that have like a certain uh, style of the country of origin that they were uh, as there are like food companies like Olive Garden which are like uh, that US uh, fast food uh, franchise is uh, Italian style not which an Italian person would actually try it and uh, say, we don't have these back home.
and also uh, low stuff like KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Colonel Sanders was not from Kentucky State. He also has spent time in other states as well, so yeah, he's not just from Kentucky. Panda Express, uh, the Chinese uh, fast food, and U.S. exclusive. Yep, that's Chinese style, not from China. That's. Chinese people would say, we don't have these back home. And it is true. They would just use ingredients that is based and that can, they can get over here. And they just make these in their factories or places they already produce it. And then these companies would distribute it and uh, regular citizens would consume them. Or use them for cooking. You could just throw a grease flag on a grease style package, and uh, it's not made from grease. It's uh, made made by a person. Uh, Greek style. Which does this is just another more on the week uh, award. Because there are brands uh, that have a history background that uh, they may have originated from a certain country where the founders of the country they have uh, they took their styles from uh, that country and then they uh, and USA they developed it and they uh, distributed it. That does not mean it is made from that country. And yes, people like Matthew and Jessica really need to uh, learn their lesson, just like Amanda with the Velveeta microwavable pasta. It is just unfortunate that this, this uh, you know, generation makes a big deal out of the, everything. It's just embarrassing. What are we teaching to the next generation?